Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the correct views. It's Sam I.B. the Ganji reporting for the Media Speaks. I actually have to go to work, and it's the 4th of July, which is why I'm not in my studio. I'm actually just sitting here in my work clothes about to walk out the door. But I told Christelle, the behind-the-scenes queen, that we had to film something for the 4th of July. And um, most of what I'm reading are people lamenting our freedoms that were lost, and I'm not seeing as many people celebrating things anymore. Um, here's a hint for those of you that might see this. Lakewood, Ohio might be eligible for the Dunce Cap of the Month Award for what they have done to 4th of July. Um, it's a mess. I'm looking at an article in front of me. It says, Houston, woman, Houston women file suit against DPS for roadside cavity search. Go look it up. Two young women were stopped on the side of the road. The cop alleged that he smelled marijuana. So they did a cavity search on the two women on the side of the road. The one officer didn't even change gloves before going from one woman to the other woman. On the side of the road for anybody driving to see, and they didn't find anything. That, that's, that's the 4th of July. That, that's what we're celebrating today. That we're, we're celebrating that Eric Snowden can come on and tell people about the fact that our country is spying on citizens of our allies and our government goes after Snowden. I guess this is another video about lamenting freedoms that were lost, but that's not the way I'm looking at this video. This to me is a lot more about us saying, hey, we do still have a couple Eric Snowdens. We do still have women that will go ahead and fight back at the police and sue the police department. But none of this is going to change if we just sit here and don't do anything. What's going to happen is if we don't support the really big people in the movement, such as Justin Amish, who is a congressman, such as Alex Jones, commentator, uh, if we don't stand up for people like Mike Adams, Natural News, that let us know how our government is poisoning us with our food and our pop, then those people are going to start to vanish. And once they vanish, then the smaller names, like the media speaks, like the correct views, then we're in trouble. So this 4th of July, do me a favor. Look at some of the articles you've read and tell me what the hell we are celebrating. Because the way I look at it, we are going in the wrong, wrong direction. And that frightens me greatly. What I will say, since I want to end on a positive note and have to finish getting ready for work, is this. Go out. I'm not saying don't, don't have any burgers. I'm not saying don't have any hot dogs or some beer. I'm saying tell at least one other person about this channel. Tell them about the media speaks. Let them know that uh, I'm going to be doing an article on how Hillary Clinton and Obama are making Japan burn MOX fuel, which is plutonium and uranium. They're trying to make, well, are making them start their nuclear facility back up so that America can continue to, continue to profit off the harm that's being caused by the nuclear industry. Tell somebody about something like this at your barbecue. Wake people up on the 4th of July. And above all else, I hope you have a very nice 4th. Good night, friends. God bless. Thanks for listening. Please donate if you can and click on Nitro Pack on the Media Speaks site. Thanks.